Hey, it's Shira, and this is one of our What's Trending writers, Lon. Hey. And guess what, everyone, if you didn't notice already, it's Shark Week. How did they get out of the tornado? But this isn't just a video to celebrate all things Shark Week. Yeah, I mean, a lot of our favorite YouTube science channels have been pointing out Discovery doesn't really take the science that seriously anymore. A lot of Shark Week programming has become really sensationalized, more like reality TV. Shark attacks are really rare, and in truth, we're a bigger threat to sharks than they are to us. These shows about shark attacks are great for making people scared of sharks. They don't do much for making people care about them. The problem is not just, hey, here's some not accurate information about sharks just for fun, but they're making it look like it's a real story. Like they're reporting on this megalodon, this like millions of year old species, and saying it's still around. It's and false they, information, which is right. actually freaking people out and making people think that we have this huge exactly. shark issue going on in the world. Like I'm actually scared sometimes to go in the water now. <laughs> Don't be scared, you'll be fine. <laughs> what also bothers me is to hear that these experts are being told one thing and being interviewed for one thing, and then right. their sound bites are being missed used, and that sucks. Too. Yeah, io9 has a post today. Uh, Jonathan Davis, he's studying real bull sharks in the Gulf of Mexico, so they shot an interview with him where he's talking about the real sharks that he's studying, and then they make it sound like he's talking about this mythical voodoo shark called the Rukin. And I think one thing YouTube science channels are proving this week is real accurate information about sharks can be just as interesting and popular as made up yeah, documents. There's an interest there. So yeah, I mean, you got a channel like Brain Scoop that their video was posted and it's about, you know, all of the threats that humans present to sharks. Like we're, we're way more of a threat to their environment than they are to us. And of course, PBS also on their channel, they had a video called What If There Were No Sharks, which talks about how the circle of life would be totally different. I mean, we wouldn't even have scallops. If sharks weren't around, <laughs> different things would happen. It's the, it's the food web. I mean, you know. Like, yeah, it's the, called the, the circle of life. In, in that Lion King Evolution. song, yes, it is called the circle of life. <laughs> but in general, it's, it's yeah, the well, idea that- one thing affects the other. Right. right. If you remove one species from a complicated, biodiverse ecosystem, then you throw everything else I off. think we forget about that this day and age because we just look at the effects it has just on us. Lastly, uh, Hank Green and SciShow, he did a video the other day that's just about why sharks happen to evolve without a skeletal structure. And he, so he's talking about like, well, how did they manage to evolve and stay apex predators, even though they don't have the natural advantages that come with So they can bones. go into those um, tornadoes. Yes, they're, know? they're flexible cartilaginous bodies make it easier to get sucked up in a tornado. So the question we have is, do you still love Shark Week? Do you feel like these shows are too sensationalized or is that all part of the fun of enjoying Shark Week? And if you're curious, you can look up the information. Let us know in the comments below. And subscribe to What's Trending for more of the best of YouTube and the social web every day. And watch out for Sharknados. <sighs> Sharknado is not, by the way, for this generation, not, they're not equivalent. It's not like, well, we, well, we had Jaws and the kids not, had Sharknado. Right? It's like, <laughs> Jaws is a classic. Sharknado is garbage. Hey, maybe to this generation, that will, this is a classic now. According to Ian Ziering, <laughs> Sharknado is now a classic. So just for posterity, your opinion is, Sharknado's as good as I'm Jaws. I'm speaking for the people. It's a movement, <laughs> as they call it's it. It's a movement. It's a, some kind of movement. <laughs>